Okay, so within this episode, we're gonna have a look at business setup. Now, ultimately, we can sit here and talk for hours about business setup because the further you get into your business journey, the more complicated it can become, and ultimately it should become to become as efficient as possible. But I'm not gonna teach you how to run a eight-figure business today, okay? And I absolutely can't summarize that in a short video. So I'm not going to talk about that. If you're an eight-figure entrepreneur, if you're running an eight-figure company, you should be consulting with more intelligent people than myself on company structure. So this isn't for you. But what we are going to do here is discuss the setup of a new business for somebody that's trying to get into entrepreneurship and trying to set up their first company, basically. So what's the number one rule? Just start. Forget everything I say in this video until you've started. I just want you to make a start because ultimately, it doesn't matter how efficient we become. If you haven't got a product or a service that is genuinely valuable and solves problems for people day to day, you will not get paid. No matter how efficient your company structure is, how clever you can be with tax, nothing will work more for your business's growth than just offering good products and services. So forget about anything we say here until you have a good product or service that you are actively making money from. The number one rule of business is money in. Once we have the money in, that's when we can start to think about how we're going to be as efficient as possible. So what are our options? I'm going to speak for the UK jurisdiction because that's where I am from and that's what I understand the best. We do have a pretty comprehensive standing, understanding of other jurisdictions as well, but I'm not going to sit here and try and cover worldwide jurisdictional company setups here today. Uh, if you do have you know, specific questions, drop them in the community. We'll do what we can. But option one is going to be a sole trader. Okay, this is essentially a very easy option for a new business, um, especially if your aspirations for this business are quite small and it's just going to be something that you do on the side. It isn't necessarily a bad idea to have it as a sole trader, a sole proprietorship, whatever you want to call it. Ultimately, there's a couple of perks. You know, you have full control, you keep all of the profits, but in my honest opinion, it's not a great option because we have unlimited liability where essentially we and the company are the same entity. So the, the company is you. Any issues the company has is you. They're your problem. You have to fix them. You are responsible. You are liable. This for me is a bit of a concern. This isn't something that I think is worth going for as an option. A similar option is the partnership. Again, it's basically the same thing with just two people. I don't really see any viable option or reason for, for wanting to do either of these two options. So I'm going to push them to the side and focus on LLC limited liability company. Specifically here in the UK, we call it a private limited company, shortened often to LTD. Uh, and it basically just separates you and the company as legal entities. So you are yourself, the company is itself. Now, of course, you're related, but you're not the same thing. So let's say, for example, that the company had some issues. They aren't necessarily your issues. Okay, there are certain grounds in which they could become, but for the most part, they are not your issue. And that separation of liability gives you a little bit of security, okay? It helps you to protect your assets. It helps you to optimize your tax through taking dividends because as a, a limited company, of course, profits are able to be shared amongst shareholders as dividends, which gives us the opportunity to play around with our tax efficiency just a little bit. Instead of having to pay income tax on basically all of the profits like we would here, we can actually just offset a lot of expenses come to a profit figure, and then we can share that amongst the shareholders, which if it's just you, of course, it's just you, as a dividend at much lower tax brackets, okay? So as a new entrepreneur looking to set up a company, I think the absolute best bet in almost all cases off the bat is to set up a limited liability company. If, again, in the event you do continue to grow and you start to make six, seven, eight figures monthly or yearly, then it's worth considering other options, okay? Jurisdictions, um, can be optimized, let's say, to be more efficient. Um, but to begin with, this isn't important. So don't think that you need to set up your company in Dubai or Bermuda, because you don't. You're actually completely fine setting up in your local jurisdiction. And if you get to a point where your product or service is that valuable and solving that many problems, that you're generating enough revenue to have to pay a hell of a lot of tax, then you can have a think about how to be more efficient.